What is up awesome fam, it's Creative Sav here and if you know anything about me, you probably know that I kind of have a lot of devices. Yeah, sort of. I'm the kind of guy that you see sitting at the park, pressing his phone, lying down on the bed, pressing his phone, sitting in a gathering of people, pressing his phone, even having his bath pressing his phone. Now don't start hating on me, most of my life and the work revolves around the internet and social media generally, so I sort of have to always be online. Then I woke up one morning and I thought, is it even possible for somebody like me to not use a phone for one week? What? No, seriously, that, that was my reply to myself. What? <laughs> then I said, yeah, I like experiments, I like trying things out, so let me try it. For one full week, I would not have access to my own phone, to the internet, to social media, everything cut off. I just wanted to see how it feels because some people actually do it every day. So I was pumped. I was super excited. I'm going to go one whole week without my phone. That's that's mind blowing. Then a day to the actual day I was supposed to start the old experiments, I, I sort of changed my mind and said, um, what if I just do three days just for starters? You know, it's just an experiment. Maybe next time i do one week so i decided to do three days three days it is three days no internet three days no social media three days no phone no games no movies no life so basically a few minutes before midnight the day i was supposed to start i set everything up um uploaded the last one on my status made sure i finished everything i had to do video editing jobs graphic design jobs i made sure i had everything done and yeah because i was running an instagram business account i had to schedule my posts for the three days i won't be online Smart thinking. So 12 midnight, I switched up my phone. <sighs> ah. Seriously, if you know me, you know I've never, probably never ever slept before 12 midnight. I don't know, it's like it's like a thing with me. Pre-midnight sleep doesn't just work with me. I've really tried. Sometimes I've really, really tried. But it doesn't just work. I don't know. 12.30, 1, I was kind of still awake. My phone was out of bounds rope sailed by me and I just stayed here kind of just looking at the ceiling until I slept off woke up the next day I don't know you probably have experienced this before immediately you wake up first thing you go to is your phone whatsapp instagram what's up with the world what's popping that's what we do we know you know you know you do it so that morning I woke up no phones jeez do my normal daily morning routine my normal daily tasks Soon that was over, I felt, I felt like, like I had nothing to do. I actually did have stuff to do, but it felt like I had nothing to do. I'm the kind of guy that goes on Google like 15 times a day. I search stuff on Google like a lot. At some point, Google was actually asking if I was a robot three times a day. It was crazy. So in summary, those three days were enlightening. They were kind of enlightening. I became more productive. I, I could think clearly, seriously. Social media reduces your attention span, period. Take it from me, it does. I could think more clearly, that was just sure. But I wasn't as productive with work as I could have been. You know, when you do graphic design, you have to download assets from the internet. I did not have access to the internet. Things like that. So it's just really sad. So instead, I just moved away from actual work to learning. You wouldn't believe in those three days I finished the book. I am not a fast reader, I must confess. Guys that read super fast, I, I wonder how they do it. It seems my sister does it. How, how, how? Well, I do not read super fast. I read page by page, taking all the information down, sinking it inside slowly. Yeah, I'm that kind of guy. And the funny thing though is, most of the time I was found doing this. Like I could stare at my phone and be like, should I break this seat? No one will actually know if I break this deal, you know? I could just take a quick peek, you know? But basically, it was halfway nice and halfway not nice. For a general person that doesn't have his work revolving around the internet, it would have been really dope, like really enlightening, really self-discovery in. Another thing, the fact that I was not always with my phone, not always on YouTube, you know, binge watching some crazy ass creative videos or replying messages on WhatsApp or doing something like that. The fact that I didn't have all those time with my phone, I had enough time to actually be with people. 
like I had more conversations than I usually have on a normal day. Seriously. I am not that guy that is against the internet, against smartphone. Now I am very far from that. I love technology, as you probably already know now. I do. But you cannot overemphasize the fact that smartphones, social media has the kind of damage to our lives these days. It's, it's obvious. Yeah, I even wrote an article about it on Zumalo. Links is in the description. How smartphones have changed the way we live, the positive aspect, the negative aspect. I read a lot. Try reading it. It's not that long. Just, just read it. Read it. So yeah, I just wanted to share the experience with you, the painful experience of not having a phone for three days. No laptop, no internet, no device. Intentionally, this was intentional. I prioritize internet connection to food. Seriously, I could spend more on internet connection than food. That's just me. But I decided for three days, let me just see how it feels. And I've shared it with you today. You could probably do the same experiment yourself and see how you respond to it. Yeah, so I just want to take this few minutes to share the experience with you. Not anything special. If you learned something, you could share this video with your friends. If you didn't learn something, still share the video with your friends. <laughs> Give me a thumbs up. As I said, I'm bringing great content to this channel. Coming up slowly, building up slowly. But still, we'll get there. Don't worry. We'll get there. Like this video if you enjoyed it. Like this video if you didn't enjoy it. Subscribe if you're not ready and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.